knowing you did bad on an exam just makes you want to go to the gym and forget about it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Also, when you're about to indulge in some mini corn dogs, <laughs> makes the day a little bit better too. Look at these bad boys. Mm-hmm. All of these are about to be in my stomach soon. Also some like Red Bull Boba. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's pretty good. All right? All gone. I'm feeling to lift heavy. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're squatting and benching, of course. Squatting, if you don't remember, I'm trying low bar. So I, I went up to like 315 on low bar and it felt pretty good. So I think we're gonna be able to do like my normal working set uh, just fine. But we'll just have to wait and see once we get, actually get to the gym and have the weights loaded up on the back. Yeah, got the Chick-fil-A, Sweet Baby Ray, and uh, Mustard Ray. Mmm. Feel good, thumbing through the back end, don't it? Ain't had to make a plan three months, get a plug to my brother in the trap, still rolling. This thing, need some more stamina. Uh -huh. It's been fucking with me, can't handle it. Out the window, what do I see? That was kind of scary. The bar slipped down my back a little bit, but I still did the reps. And when I'm racking, I'm just so scared of pinching my fingers. So I rack it so slowly. I'm not gonna lie, that felt easy. And pretty comfortable too. I think the most uncomfortable part is the, I need to get my shoulder flexibility up. Cause when you're low barring, low barring it's just like, your shoulders are so far back kind of. Unless I'm doing it wrong, but I don't know. I felt like I squatted that pretty easily. That shit was easy. Now, I'm not saying you have to, but I highly recommend switching a low bar squat if you're into powerlifting. That's for sure.
My first time doing those in a little bit. Uh, you know, they weren't too bad. I would say my favorite part is I added like weights to stand on so I can get more depth. So I focused on getting as deep as I could and pausing at the bottom and just working on getting out of the hole, is what I hear, uh, like the deepest part of the squat. So that's kind of what I focused on. I'm gonna call it there for legs. We're gonna hop on a bench and do, well, some benching. five and that shit felt easy too that's the crazy part that was my first time going heavy on low bar to hit my max already with low bar is crazy on the first day now like I said there's of course things I need to work on because I think I was feeling more pressure and strain in my shoulders and wrists than I should have been but even with that, I still hit 405 pretty easily, which is crazy. So if you happen to be watching this and you're contemplating on switching from high bar to low bar, I'm telling you, switch to low bar. Especially if you're into powerlifting or just trying to squat as much as you can, do low bar. And I think overall, it just less prone to injury I think I mean that's how it feels like it's not like all the way up on your spine I don't know don't quote me on that so we did that we did that shit today now we just got to figure out the deadlift we'll be back to going heavy tomorrow on deadlift hopefully gotta stay hopeful you know well it's another warm day here so I wanna take advantage of it and drive with my windows open. Okay, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't even think it's that bad, but I'm just gonna yell just in case. I'll put my YouTuber voice on. That's gonna do it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with deadlift. Should be great times, great vibes. If this happens to be your first video you've watched of mine, consider subscribing, you know? Follow along on the journey to 1500. We're already making progress, man. So, say you're here from the beginning. All right. Hope you guys have a great, what, Tuesday? Yep, Tuesday for you guys. Uh, and I'll see you on Wednesday.